Next up, we have Mark Cossum. He's the Managing Director of Gateway Mining, one of my favourite commodities we're next going to talk about, which is gold. And Gateway Mining have got the Gigi project over in WA. Lots of news coming out lately, ladies and gentlemen. A couple of releases just in the past week. Please welcome Mark to the platform. Thanks, Kerry. And thanks to Ray Corbett for putting on this event and to the audience here and online for turning up to have a listen to the Gateway story. I guess um, Gateway's been coming to Rising Stars for a couple of years. It's the first time for me after a couple of false starts, so it's good to be here. But for those that may have seen the story before or are new to it, just to give you a bit of an idea of Gateway and what we're doing. A um, bit of an introduction by way of my own background. I'm a geologist, about 25 years, but mainly from a, a, an operations and, and uh, mining construction point of view. Um, and there are three things when I sort of was looking at Gateway that you know, got me interested in Gateway and, and what was going on. And uh, really those three things were obviously first and foremost the project. Um, you know, great project, great part of WA to be in. But secondly, the people involved, you know, there's some, some fantastic people involved at Gateway have been involved in, in uh, successful not only discoveries but building junior companies into bigger ones. And also uh, the third was the, the, uh, the shareholder base and, and uh, you know, we've got a, a great strong shareholder base, support the strategy and, um, you know, really behind the company the whole way. So. The company itself, Gateway Now, is um, a single, single project company. Uh, we're completely focused on the Gigi Gold project, which is in a great part of WA Goldfields, uh, about 800 k's north of Perth. Um, got a, a good substantial land package there, about 1,000 square k's, real dominant package over uh, the Gum Creek Greenstone Belt. We've got um, existing mineral resources up there. Um, you know, by way of background, there's an episode of mining that took place on the project between 1988 and 1993 by Herald Resources. They mined about five little open pits. And the work we've been doing since then you know, has really been taking advantage of the fact that not much has happened since the, uh, the mid-90s on this project for various reasons. So great opportunity for, for us. You know, we're, we're doing a lot of exploration that, that really took place in, in a lot of the other gold fields of WA 20 years ago. So it's really simple exploration, uh, looking at a lot of, lot of uh, mineralisation near surface, and it's a, it's a fantastic, fantastic opportunity for us. So we've been growing that resource base. Um, we're going to keep growing that resource base by a, uh, you know, undertaking you know, systematic and disciplined exploration at this, at this fantastic project. Quick corporate summary. Um, we can see there, uh, you know, at the la in the last quarter, about five and a bit million dollars in the bank, and we also have um, a uh, couple of million dollars in listed equities you know, that we've uh, accumulated over the years from from disposing of other assets the company used to have. So we're well placed to, to, um, to carry out this exploration. And I mentioned before our shareholders, uh, our major shareholder, Kerry Hamanis, who you know, a lot of people at this conference know. Um, he uh, came on board a few years ago and has supported us. And then the rest of the top 20, very stable, very supportive of the strategy, uh, which, is, which is good for us as a, as a management team to carry it forward. Got a great board in place, good, wide, diverse uh, array of skills. I mentioned myself as a geologist, um, Deb Fullerton there, you know, till recently the, the CEO of Westgold, which is one of the major players in the region. And then um, another guy who plenty of you may be familiar with here, Pete Langworthy, still involved as our, our key consultant to the company and, and he's been involved in a lot of um, successful uh, growth stories over the years. So where we are, so we're on the, um, the gum croak greenstone belt, we can see there in orange, uh, great, great land package there. But really it's part of the Murchison Goldfields of WA where, where we sit, right smack bang in the middle of a number of operating uh, gold mines as we speak. So from a, from a project um, development point of view, it really gives us options, um, both looking at the project itself as well as um, you know, various other places where the ore may, may end up. I mentioned before about the resource growth. So uh, Gateway put out its first resource back in 2019 and that was really... Um, a couple of resources under two of the pits that were mined there in the 1980s that I mentioned before at, at, at Whistler and Montague Boulder, you can see there on that diagram. And then since then we've been working on growing that resource base. Um, the last announcement for resource growth back in, in November last year, we, we increased it by over 87%. Um, and one of the key things I mentioned before about what we're looking for here is, is a lot of the, the answers that we're finding are, are still near surface. Um, apart from those two resources around the, uh, the old open pits that we announced first, uh, everything else has been new discoveries. So, so we're still finding new gold in the area, 
um, you know, for, for a, a project that you know has a gold mining history all the way back to, to 1905, um, you know, it's a unique opportunity in WA, and we, we're not we're not sitting still. We're right smack bang in the middle of a, a couple of major drilling campaigns. Kerry mentioned before we've um, just had a couple of announcements in the last few weeks, and that that will continue from here until the end of the year, really. So our resource growth, uh, just to go through that briefly, you can see um, Montague, which is our biggest resource. We uh, increased that to 160 odd thousand ounces. But not only that, for the first time we, we had a, uh, an indicated um, resource there of uh, 67,000 ounces at four grams. And, and one of the, the encouraging things from that was to show that as we drilled and increased the confidence on the resource, the, these high grade areas really hung together. So that, that gives us options going forward from a, a project development point of view. But future growth of this resource, um, we can uh, see those couple of results there on the, on the slide. You know, these, these results come from, from within the, um, the, the granite body, which is a key, a key controlling feature here from a geological point of view. And this is really something that hasn't been looked at previously. So we see a lot of, a lot of uh, upside in, in exploring for more gold around this exist, existing resource, so really in the shadow of the resource, within the granite. So that's, uh, that's really easy, low-hanging fruit that we can add to this resource. Um, one of the new resources that we, we announced last year in, in November was this Evermore Discovery, um, and this really came about from the work we did at Montague, we were just talking about then, um, it just continuing to, to drill a long strike. We realised that a lot of the, the, the exploration that had been done in this area in the 1980s and early 90s was, was ineffective for various technical reasons, but, so we went back and, and started drilling just to the north of Montague Boulder and kept following the mineralisation and eventually got onto what, what we now know as Evermore. So that was a, a first pass resource there of 67,000 ounces. But the key there is that's still open. So we've got some intersections on that, on that slide there from drilling we did in December last year. Um, that's to the north of the existing resource. Uh, we're about to go back there and, um, and target this with a, a, a heap of RC drilling to, uh, to look to expand it. And, and one of the big prizes in this neck of the woods, um, you can see a lot of the existing resources we have on that diagram sit around the edge of that pink rock, which is a granite um, intrusion. So we're hoping that uh, you know, as we drill further north, we can eventually join it up with that Whistler resource, which sits um, nearby. So that's, that's a big prize for us if we can make it happen. And we're putting a lot of holes in the ground to, to test that. Another new resource that we have up there is Achilles. Um, this is really simple story at Achilles. It's just drilling north of an old pit that was mined in 1993. Um, and you can see from some of those drill intersections there where we're intersecting gold almost at surface. So I mentioned before, this is the type of exploration that a lot of the other gold fields in WA was sort of done 20 odd years ago, but we're just coming up with a, with a drill rig. Most of this resource is within 60 metres of surface. It's all oxide hosted, um, simple metallurgy, simple mining proposition moving forward. So th these are really highly valuable ounces for the project. And um, we had a release that came out yesterday for those that may have seen it. We've been doing work around the margins of this, um, this resource and, and just simple step outs and we announced yesterday 14, uh, four metres at 14 grams per tonne just off to the south of, of this resource. So it's still open, there's still a lot of easy ounces to be added here and we'll be, we'll be putting more holes in the ground here in the coming months. Beyond those existing resources, we're still continuing to grow at the project. It's, um, it's, a, it's a fantastic opportunity, but one of the things we're very, very clear about is maintaining our focus. So you can see on that diagram there where we're working at these three new prospects, Julia's, Kashmir and Monarch, they're all within five kilometres of those existing resources. And, and it's key for us to make sure that we are uh, staying focused with our exploration so that we're finding new gold that's complementary to the resources we already have. So the first one to talk about here, which is one that's pretty exciting, um, called Julia's. So we see this as potentially our, our next resource um, to come into the inventory. Um, you know, this sits a bit further away from that, uh, that granite that I talked about before, but, but, but similar sort of setting. Um, again, shallow ounces. You can see from some of those intersections, it's all generally in the top sort of 50 and 60 metres. Uh, some really good widths and grades there. Um, so that green, air, green box on the diagrams where we've been targeting RC recently and we're still waiting for those results to come through but a couple of weeks ago we put out some air core drilling which continued to trace that, that area down to the southwest um, along that arrow there. So it's open from about 700 metres to the southwest. Um, some great air core results showing the mineralisation is still open and we're hoping to be able to join it up with that flame tree prospect down to the south. So we see a lot of opportunity here 
Again, shallow ounces, oxide zone, hosted ounces, um, you know, really simple and uh, really complementary to what we've already got. Kashmir, this sits down on the south end of our package. You can see that tenement boundary that, that zigzags through the diagram there. This is directly along strike of a, an existing resource owned by our neighbours at Horizon. Uh, it's 200,000 ounces still sitting in the ground there, but no exploration has been undertaken on our side of the tenement boundary. So we did some work, got enough confidence that it continued into our ground and started drilling. Um, you, can, you can see some of those numbers we got there from drilling in November last year. Um, similar sorts of uh, grey tenor to what they see at Howard's at that existing 200,000 ounces. So we know it's coming onto our property. We've just completed a, a, an RC program continuing to drill a long strike there for that, you know, it's over a kilometre further strike onto our ground. So we're waiting on those results. Um, but yeah, we see a lot of potential in this area and, and, and sitting right along strike of a known resource. Monarch, this is a, a slightly less mature one out, a little bit further to the east, but again within that five kilometre radius. So Monarch, extensive underground mining taking place there between 1906 and 1913, um, but amazingly not much exploration has happened since then. So we went out, did some soil sampling. Again, like I mentioned before, this is all fairly simple rudimentary exploration. Um, got a big anomaly and then went back and we have just put the first RC drilling into this Monarch uh, prospect. We're still waiting on the results, but um, yeah, it's a really, really unique opportunity. Nothing, nothing's been done there, and um, you know we're, we're sort of almost like a first mover type proposition here. Bigger picture. So I mentioned before we're in the, in the middle of a, a major drilling campaign this year. Uh, we've planned over 60,000 metres to drill. We've drilled about 25,000 of those. We're about to start drilling again next week. Um, and really the, the res we've started to see some of those air core results come through uh, from the, re the releases we put out at, at Julia's and then the one we put out yesterday excuse me, at, at Achilles. Um, we're still waiting on the bulk of the, the RC drilling we completed um, back in May, uh, which is mainly around that Julia's resource area. But we have uh, the RC rig coming back next week and we're going to have a major campaign, about 15,000 metres to be drilled. And, and really that's targeting extensions to our known resources. So all this work that we're doing now is building into a resource upgrade um, that we're, uh, we're planning for uh, the September quarter um, and, and hoping to keep showing that we can keep growing this resource um, and, and keep it moving along towards a, a significant uh, sort of critical mass for the project to look at development options down the track. So really with these results coming through and the drilling we've got planned, we now see that there's going to be solid news flow from Gateway from here right through to the end of the year. Beyond that, beyond the work we're doing within that five kilometre radius that I've, I've talked about before, we have a, a major land package covering a couple of really well endowed structures in this belt. Um, you know, we're a dominant landholder in this area, uh, which gives us options going forward in the longer term. So there's plenty of other work to be done, plenty of early stage grassroots exploration. Um, we sort of keep this ticking away in the background, it's not our main focus, but as far as the company going forward is concerned, you know, there's, a, there's a, lot, a lot there and a lot of options for us which um, you know, really gives us an opportunity to, to, to establish a, um, a significant mining camp, if you like, in this part of the world. So in summary, I suppose you know, Gateway is a pretty simple proposition. We've uh, you know, got a, a great land package in a, in a Tier 1 gold exploration part of the world. Uh, we've got existing resources that we're showing continuing to grow, and, and one of the unique things about Gateway is that there's, there's not many juniors left with a you know, good resource endowment. Um, there's a few here at this conference, but when you look at the, the overall gold sector, uh, not many juniors left with a, a significant project and a, a good gold endowment that shows a real growth pipeline moving forward. So that's where you know, we are and we're, we're aiming to capitalise on that. We've got the, the money in the bank to carry out these drill programs and we've got the, the team on board to, to make sure it happens and, and take the right decisions. So uh, thanks for listening. We'll go over in the booth. Anyone's got any questions for later? And um, yeah, hopefully I'll see you then. Thank you. Thanks, Mark. Exciting times for Gateway because what happens when you uh, put the drill bit into the ground, that's when you find things. So, congratulations.